Hello guys, back again, doing some more Day of Reckoning scenes. This is, well, Day of Reckoning 2. This is the chapter called Alibis. So we got Stacy Keebler here saying, Hey guys, it's nice to see some friendly faces around here. What's up? Jericho. I wish I could say there it was good news, but I don't think that's the case. Wharton. Yeah, we need to talk. And there's me in the back there with the coat robe thing on. Why are the serious faces, guys? If there's a problem, just spit it out. I mean, it can't be worse than Edge running his mouth about the title and all that. Wharton. That's just it. I mean, Edge is probably just trying to get into your head. But ever since the highlight reel spot last week, people are starting to question about you. The thing is, just about everyone else in the locker room has several other superstars who can vouch for where they were when the World Heavyweight title was stolen. Jericho. And all you've got are each other. Seeing as how you two are an item, well, with all due respect, your mutual alibis don't seem to hold much weight. Hey, now wait a minute. What are you getting? What are you two getting at? You know I had nothing to do with. Chris. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down for a second, Junior. We're not accusing you of anything. But I would, but I, if you know something, anything at all, it would be better to tell, better, excuse me, would probably be better to bring it up sooner rather than later. Orton, yeah, at this point, Eric Bischoff would probably be so happy, would probably be so happy to have the World Heavyweight title back on Raw, that he wouldn't care if it mysteriously turned up backstage. No questions asked, can catch my drift. I can't believe what, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Guys, for the last time, Stacy and I... Look, Jericho says. Look, we gotta get ready for a tag match. Just remember what we said. Good luck in your t your match against Christian. Yeah, good luck. See ya. Oh, they think I did it. 